Hello, good morning. It's me, Cola. <sighs> I am getting ready to do some things today. And my little daughter, for the fourth time, she got a sore throat. I don't know what the hell is going on. Her in this sore throat, but she may have to get her tonsils taken out because this ain't gonna work. I cannot be doing this all the time. My mirror is right here, guys, so I'm gonna be moving back and forth. But, um, bro, <coughs> I'm gonna address something here real quick. And, um, It's my powder here. There we go. <clears throat> my throat is a little scratchy too. That's strange. I did a facial yesterday. Um, but I wore mask and um, everything. Let me turn y'all this stuff. I got some shit rigged up because my GoPro, whatever that thing is, I don't like it. It, I just don't like it. So, that was a live done. This thing blinking? Okay. That was a live done and I'm, I guess I'm just special because, you know, people in their year talking about cola. People come into the year talking about cola. This damn light, I swear. There we go. Let me get this right. Child. It's this ring light I got. There we go. And my little bambino, he be messing with stuff. All right, anywho. <sighs> I put something on my post. I mean, on my community wall and our track stars. Relating to something totally different. <laughs> um, and I was going to post why I put that on there. But, as usual, people think that they are so damn important to where I think about this that much. Now, I have said in the past about what I've done. So... As far as pages and stuff like that. Now, if you guys are going through a divorce and God brings you into a space where you are able to find out things about a person you was married to that you did not know, you're gonna you're gonna investigate the situation. So if you want to call investigating stalking and making sure my my ass is covered. Then that's what you want to do. That's fine with me. I don't even care about that. Whatever. But nobody knows things that I deal with and that he said he deals with. At the end of the day, it's between him and I. Between us. Between us. Now, I'm not for understanding how this individual got all involved. Like, girl, you do not have the last name yet. You have it, though. Keep working on it. You'll have it. But not yet. Not yet. You're not the missus. And I keep saying that. You could call it victim, but it's the facts. It's the facts. I have rights to say things. <laughs> Child. Anyways, let me move on. So, it was a live done about, oh, she was married when she, she what, is, what did she say? She was, um, they were not divorced. He was not divorced when they got married. I'm trying to figure out. Now, me, personally, if that was fake, if that was the truth, I don't think I would make my boyfriend look crazy and do that. 
you got people that's impulsive to just be doing shit, don't think, just doing shit. Not thinking about the consequences. He was not married when we got married. The divorce decree was signed. If you do some research in the state of Maryland, you have to wait 48 hours to get the marriage license. We go down to the city hall and to get our marriage license, they're like, wait a minute. They did look at the little system or whatever in the city hall and look up the system. And apparently the paperwork hadn't been signed. Now, this was days prior to the day we supposed to have the union on. The union was on the 17th. All right. So that's why I say I was married on the 17th, because that is when we stood before God. A lot of people don't even understand you can have a union ceremony. Technically, this if you really want to get deep down the weeds and you don't even have to file the legal paperwork because the union is between you, yourself, your spouse and God. But she knows so much, but she don't know much of the thing. So obviously, either he told her the incorrect information or she assumed this shit. I don't know which one, but he made himself look crazy as fuck. Cause you, it, it, whatever, but I'm gonna I'm recover for you and, and correct this for you. Cause she, she, she left. She, she got, got ghost. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna step in and and cover this situation. Like, okay. So we went down to the courthouse. I think it was probably, I'm not for sure. It was days prior to the actual union ceremony. Now, remember, I had already, we had already paid for the wedding. We didn't do no loans. We paid out of pocket. We had dresses made, people coming, venue. Everything was already done. All we needed was a marriage license. So we go down and get the marriage license and that's when I find out about the paperwork situation. So he contacted his lawyer, got everything signed. That's why it says the 19th because we have to wait the 48 hours. So when we got married, the paperwork was signed. We just didn't have the license. So while she's running her mouth and I don't know where she got the information from. I don't know if he told her incorrectly, but she definitely didn't get that right. And I didn't even know anything about the marriage license until we went down to the city hall and the lady went in the system and told me, and I'm like, what the fuck? So exactly. That was another sign. I even said, I said, this is a sign we should oh, I'm call my lawyer. I'm going to get everything pushed through. So he had to pay more money. To make sure we was, we was able to do it. That's why I says the 19th. Because that's the 48 hour limit. You have to wait to get the license. Child. I can't believe she even got on there and made a damn fool of herself. I, I can't. She said, her crew don't know. See, that's the thing. I'm so authentic with myself. Certain people knew the situation with me and him. Certain people. Not everybody. But certain people knew the situation. Because there are some people on here that has had my back. And I felt like. Because they are loyal to me. They deserve to know certain things that everybody's not going to know. That's how I ride. So you, there's nothing you can really push out that's going to fucking embarrass me because I'm 100. Like I said, I'm authentic. But we can, we did start digging in your closet. Girl, you better stand down. I'm telling you, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I've said it many a times. You, you, didn't you say Dorothy Dandruff? I, I think I went online. And I showed you guys all the, the t-shirt I wore from 14. I got more shirts her. That's the one I can find. I am I love her because I feel like she gets overlooked by Marilyn Monroe. People don't even know the history. They were actually friends back in the day. And it's a whole, you guys can learn so much about this. Some people probably know. So I'm a big Dorothy Vangelis person. Then you said three weeks later. Girl, seriously? So you think, let me get this right. So you're so you're saying that. I was obsessed with you. I stalked you. I started mirroring you. I'm trying to figure out what about you. What about you is so great to where I got to be like you. Girl, there's nothing. No, we don't have nothing in common but the same man. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You are not even, even somebody I will hang out with. So I'm confused on what you're talking about. Stalking. The narcissist is watching you. But it's really strange how you were able to pull up a clip. You were able to pull up a clip that you downloaded, child. You downloaded a clip. You was able to pull it up and talk about my life when I said that I was that I got married on March seventeenth. So let's see who's talking who. Girl, you can you can you you will have the name soon. Believe me, it ain't always what you bargain for. And I would say something else. You shouldn't be online saying anything about his therapy and his personal things that he shared with you. See, you don't know how to be quiet. You or a liability. You're liability.
accountability. You talk too much. You don't know when to shut up. You don't know when to be quiet and when just to say, you know what? It is what it is. You don't know how to do that. You keep talking. You telling all this man personal business. I ain't never did no shit like that. You, he talking about she was on, um, she would be on social media doing some liminals. Everybody done that before. I've done that several times. I ain't gonna sit up here and lie about it. Things we may be going through and not express it a little bit. You know, but not everybody knew what I was going through. And some things I would just observe through life and just, just, um, I would just post on it. And when you got a guilty conscience similar to you getting a track star, getting me putting their both track stars or whatever, what I put, they both had that in common. Don't even know what the hell I was talking about because I was going, it's, it's something I've been watching on someone else's channel. But it, it's just crazy. I guess that fit the, fit the narrative. I hadn't even seen you live until it was prompted. And then I went over there and started looking at shit. Like, what the fuck she talking about? Why is she, why is she uh, doing this? Like, girl, then you say, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. If you gave me clout, girl, let me explain something to you. You guys did bring light to me, right? Because once again, you started some shit and not taking accountability for it. Because you run. You know, you run. You 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 start something with somebody and you don't, you, you run from it. For me, I can say, for personally, right? Right. You ain't did a goddamn gone thing for me nothing but stress me the hell out and actually made it to where i'm like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna advocate for other people because it's people like you and my ex and if you got that would push people and you guys can see it firsthand poking and poking and poking it's, it's you're seeing it right here on the screen it's playing out right here playing out I can't post nothing without somebody thinking it's about them if my life does not and all my posts are not about you guys specifically not now if the shoe fits wear it but you can't tell me i can't express certain things that's not that's not how that's gonna work that's 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 ridiculous where is my brush i'm just going i'm just this ain't like i said this is not uh playing it's just i got on here because i'm getting ready to, to do something and i just decided to address this crap that's what it is pure crap it's crap. And um, hopefully this is all I got to say about it. Hoping I ain't got to worry about this no more because this is crazy. Girl, you, uh, you and then it's crazy because you put my picture. That picture, though, that was a really nice picture of me. I like that picture. I'm really glad you picked that picture. And it's really crazy because you had, what, over 100 in your chat? When was the last time you had over 100 people in your chat? When? When was the last time you had that many views, child? Girl, it's like you're the one giving uh, lifetime movie vibes. I keep trying to tell you, L, you better. You're going to be calling me. I'm going to have to I'm your baby mama. But yeah, yeah I'm going to be on the out with your baby mama. So we're going to say, my, even though I had you when I was married, had Max when I was married, I'm, you know, whatever. But I'm your baby mama. I'm a bitter baby mama like she is, probably. So we're going to just go stick with baby mama because that's what she that's what she said out here, right? Baby mama gonna probably have to have to get you, help you out. Cause she gonna be, you'll see. And if y'all still stay together, it's cause y'all feeding off each other. Cause I can clearly see the trauma bonding and the toxicness. That girl, you can't even control her. She just talking, running off at the mouth. Just, I mean, goodness. Like, I ain't never done no mess like that. Never. And I wouldn't do no mess like that. Still to this day, I mean, well, not no more, but I was defending you. People were mad because I was defending you. Like, why are you defending this man? This man. But at the end of the day, it's about the character. And I wasn't for trying to do that to you. Those little clips that I was talking about, she was seeing them. And that's why you got mad because you didn't want her to know the real you. But it's, it, it, it kicked me in my butt. That's cool, though. That's cool. And the bombshell was, girl, be by her crew. First of all, like I'm going to say a thousand times, I knew, and I know her before I got on here. I told you how I got on here. You can't believe that God worked like that, but he do it for me. That's not my fault. That's not just not my ministry. I didn't, girl, shut your ass up. Be quiet. You act like you so perfect. Like I said, stand by. We're going to dig in your, we're going to dig around in your past. Keep messing with me. Keep on messing with me. 
you do not know, let me just be quiet. There. But anywho, so I wanted to address that because I thought that was some craziness. Then she on there talking about all his, I couldn't really get all of it because I was so upset about it because I'm like, here we go again with this shit. Like, just leave. What's going on need to be explained. You need to do an exit. Nobody's going to miss you. Just just go. Just leave. If that's what you want to do, then just exit. Exit stage left. It's not that serious. Like, girl. <sighs> I ain't never in my life dealt with no girlfriend of nobody that act like this. I'm starting to figure out, why did your husband leave? You sure that you got divorced from him? Because that ain't what's going on. That's not what people are saying. Just saying. You you think so highly of yourself, girl. You not even somebody that girl, please. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna just be quiet. It's it's it's, it's just it's getting y'all upset all over again. You looking crazy out here. You got him looking crazy. He's sitting up there allowing you to let him look crazy. I don't know what the hell going on with y'all, but y'all relationship is very focused on me. Now he's sitting there quiet. He could be either just Sit back and join it, or he can literally just not be able to control you. And I think it's a little bit of both. I know you see, I know you see in this. You ain't out here. And you because you're too invested in me. You're my fan. Because anytime somebody put your name in a live, put your picture up. Then try to spin it as if the beef sector don't want to see it to br bring attention to the beef sector, so the beef sector can go in on me. That's what your that's what that's what your angle was. It was malicious, and that's why I kept telling people, you take mental health like it's a fucking joke. All your posts, mental health, healing, uh, it literally started mirroring exactly what I was doing. It for years. I have. I mean, years, decades. All of a sudden, you end up being, you ended your live last year talking about COVID, said I adopt you, act, acting the ass. And then you end this. Girl, you are the one upset. Are you sure? And I'm not a sister wife, sweetheart. I'm not a sister wife. Just know that if something happens to him while I got his last name and I'm still married to him, you will not be invited. You want me invited to the cookout? You want me invited to the hospital? You want to be invited no damn where. So you better pray and hope that that doesn't happen because you are a mean individual. You are a mean person. And like I said, your family would should be proud. I want they know you acting like this. Because see, you think you're hidden, but you're not hidden the way you think you're hidden. You're not. You keep doing stuff to people. And then you say, I'm a Christian, but I'm, but God, no. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying about that. But God also don't say, I mean, just because you're a Christian and you know guys, uh, we can repent, don't mean I'm going to just do it and I repent. And you keep doing this shit. Like, you keep doing it. My blog, girl, stuff don't always be about you and my ex. Believe me. It don't, I got other shit going on in my life. Other people I'm working with trying to make a difference in this, in this, in this world. And you sitting around here. And just being obsessed with me, talking about I'm obsessed with you. She and then damn next time you do a lot of work, clear your throat, get some water. Cause you sound crazy. You you sounded crazy. I am I, I'm tired of this. Is my last time addressing this. The next time you come for me, I'm gonna get a cease and assist you to shut up talking about me, and I'm gonna start going back the legal way again. Don't mention my son. Ever again, and I mean that. Don't even bring it up. The son, the child, don't bring up shit because you don't respect my son. You don't respect me, and you keep coming for me. You don't respect my son, and you don't even respect him because my son, our son, is an extension of him. But then again, wait a minute, he don't even respect him. So y'all one and the same. Y'all one and the same. It's cool though. I meant what I said on Bomb Cherry's Live. I'm tired of it. If you would like to have a woman conversation or whatever you want it to be, you have my address. I know for a fact you do. 
We can have a conversation. I'm always in your area. My best friend live there. I'm always there. So if you would like to have a conversation and sit down like an adult or let it be what else is going to be, holler at me. Period. Because this, 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 this childish shit right here, like I said, I got other stuff going on in my life. You guys want me off YouTube. All your plans haven't worked. And you should look and see. Maybe I need to stop playing with her because maybe, just maybe, universe is working in her favor right now. But you won't stop. You keep going. And then all your, I know three of, it's three of your subscribers. I sat there and I was like, this is crazy. This is crazy. You got a whole doctor on there trying to die, a therapist, excuse me, trying to diagnose me as something that she only know two or three things about me. I pay attention to everybody. You shouldn't be doing that. But it's cool. You shouldn't be doing that. But it's cool. It's cool. I can say whatever I want to say about my husband because I've lived with him. I've been with him. I know the ups, downs, the all arounds, and vice versa for him. So if he got something to say, that's what he got to say. But you an outsider. You don't know. You only see documentation from what he got, what course what he got. Girl, I got stuff too that nobody even know. He may not even know. So you're not helping him. You you not. You supposed to be, you supposed to be sitting there. I mean, in my mind, as a woman, I would be trying to keep him calm and keep him out of things. But you put the man in things. You literally sit here and put him. In a mess of situation. How is that love? I, I don't. And you smile. He's a treasure. You're protecting him. Girl, no, you're not. Running your mouth telling this man's personal business about. He was talked about in therapy. You are putting. You you are. That's not protecting somebody. You got a long. You got a lot to learn. How old are you? 42, 43? And this is how you behave? You act like this? Girl, oh my God. Something ain't right. Said it before. Something ain't right. And nobody want to listen to me. When the person got some shit going on, they can't admit that they got some shit going on. That's when you got to really watch them. Because they don't really think there's nothing wrong with them. But it's definitely something wrong. There's something going on. I asked all last year to leave my name on so I can post what I want, when I want. Until I put your name on or say your name like I have said in live, that's when you know I'm directly talking to you. Believe that. And who makes a live about somebody and then delete it right after private it or whatever you did and then leave? I, girl, that's so cowardly. That's cowardly. You don't do that. That's, that, that, that's like a hit and run, a drive-by. That's what that is. I guess if that's how y'all raised, then I guess that's that's how you raised. I ain't raised like that. I stand on it. She ain't nobody perfect. We all we all have flaws, but it's like you you can't keep using that as an excuse to keep poking at people and keep doing stuff to people. You can't keep using Christianity as a reason to just keep being an effed up person. You need to seek for something without, outside of yourself. So you, you are very, I can kind of see it, you're very selfish. You seem like a selfish person. I, and, you know, because you can't be for him. You can't be. You can't be. You cannot be for him. You, you There's no way you can be. <laughs> if that's what he want, then <laughs> baby, I just thank God that I'm in a good place now where I can heal, keep continue to heal. And I'm not, when I say heal, I'm not talking about just from him. I'm talking about just things in life. Because if you go through something for six years that's just trifling, then it is the healing process. Healing from my brother passing, healing from other things that I never got a chance to really heal from because I didn't have the support. And I was in a toxic situation. And if that's what he want to say and call me, that's his prerogative. Because he was in a relationship with me, but you don't know nothing. You only know what he's telling you and what you learn as a woman. 
look at this camera i say this what you learn as a woman is that there's always different there's two sides three sides to the story but i would say two and you can't always just believe what the man say you can't and then you said something about she was knocking on the door in my face yes that's the day that i came to the house to drop maxwell off and i also have documentation of that that shows that he slipped up in the email and told me that he was home see what i'm saying that's that's the part i haven't showed all this stuff yet and i'm not gonna do it yet if i talk about something i got shit to back it up people too there's is one instrumental person involved in this that he don't even know that's involved in it that told me some things so while you sitting there defending him you need to just be quiet and sit back girl and learn and watch and just See if this is something you want to get involved in. Because I was very clear when I said it. The fact that you disrespected me so much, there would never be a time that I would be accepting you. So if you and him get married and my son is involved, I would never like you. That's a fact. I can forgive a person and not like them. Not not want to want my child around them. Because my son gonna know about it. He don't know. You think he gonna choose your side, girl? You know his mom. You think he's gonna be okay with somebody doing that to his mom? No, he's not. No child would be. Now, maybe like I said, that's how y'all raised up there. But that ain't where I'm raised. That's not how I was raised. You said what you had to say, you should just let that shit go. Stand on what you say. You ain't gotta keep repeating a thousand times. So when you repeat, guess what? I gotta come back and depending on if I wanna do it or not, defend myself. Because I have a right to defend myself. You can look that up on any internet. It says that if a person is defamed, they have a right to defend themselves. themselves. And I have a right to defend myself. And if you don't like it and you feel that stalking and Cola don't want to leave off YouTube, that's fine. Ain't nobody going to run me off no platform. Whew. Nope. I say, especially if I know I'm true. People taking a liking to somebody because they can more than likely. Um, oh, sorry, I'm trying to dry this this setting spray. They can, um, you know, what I'm saying, understand what a person has been through. You don't know how many people I've helped on this app or assisted or talked to outside this app. I'm here for a reason. I'm trying to tell y'all that, but nobody believe when I say that. I'm really here for a reason. I have some good conversations and some good, well, I would say emails with a few of these people on here. And and a lot of things that I talk about, they it actually helps them. They're going to trash. Yep, they're right in the trash. So I don't give a, I'm not worried about nobody else. I know what my purpose is. Maybe some people need to find out what they, maybe you need to find what your purpose is. You wouldn't be so worried about me living in mine. couldn't even listen to half the stuff you were saying because you drag it is you just drag it and drag you're not excited you, you just it's just like you drag it's like girl get to the point that you gotta say you just keep talking and it's like in that that lifetime movie laugh oh change do something girl oh my god that lifetime movie laugh is 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 irritating whole time he was, he, he, he giggling and, and, and i mean acting like a freaking 12 year old i'm confused but i know why people giggle when they say stuff some people just laugh and stuff like that like i laugh you know saying stuff giggle and laugh but you do it when you're uncomfortable when something you're saying is, you know it's a lie. And you're trying to make yourself believe that it's the truth. So you laugh when you're in an awkward situation. And a lot of people do that. Some people do laugh when they're in an awkward situation. But you laughing because you really think this shit is funny. Think 
At this point, I'm going to take out the bite. My tripod is maybe I'm sorry y'all it's a cord right here for my light. But you think this is funny. You think that causing chaos and drama and stuff is funny. You really think this shit is funny. And, and it's it's really sick that you think it is funny. And I was looking at Rue Channel. And by you, Bunny said that you he told you not to do the like, girl. What is going on with you? That man ain't never have to worry about me doing no shit like this. Now me and him get into it. This one on me and him, me and one on one with us. Maybe do a subliminal here and there, but I ain't never step boundaries like that with the mother of his kids. He can tell you that if he don't, he's lying. I've never stepped up over step boundaries like that. I don't get involved in that stuff. I give advice. I say how I feel. I've had somebody. I've had a had you know somebody come at me i ain't even come at them so you come at me i'm gonna come back i was lost as hell like what is what is this person talking about but i figured all that out where all that came from later on but i ain't never overstepped my boundaries like that never you been on here just overstepping just child I'm just gonna wish him luck with you. You you all over the place. I know y'all probably have fun and shit. It's gonna be fun. Wait till y'all start living together. That's when shit get real. That's when that shit get real. I think that's cute. <laughs> I blew that. Cause it's gonna agitate somebody. She got confidence. I don't like the fact she got confidence. She thinks she all that. Should nobody think that they have for that? Nobody should think they have for nothing. You should have confidence in yourself. Because if you don't, nobody else will. I don't get this shit. I'm just trying to do what I got to do. Make sure my son is in a healthy environment. And that's the bottom line. He should not be influenced by nobody. Anything I feel that is going to distract him from being a good human being, I'm going to defend it. And if it got to go to court, it has to go to court because that's the type of mother I am. I'm not going to ask men that didn't have a good household to grow up in it because just because it's two parents doesn't mean it, it can't be toxic. All kids deserve a chance to be a good human being. Everybody do. So if I feel like the environment or situation is, is hindering him from that, then I'm going to I'm gonna stand up for him because he's too young to say anything for himself. So I'm not going to address this no more. Black history don't belong to you. Dorothy Dandridge don't belong to you. Or whatever else you was babbling about because I didn't get a chance to hear everything. And technically, he don't even belong to you yet. So, whatever. Y'all have a good day. And, yeah. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Heal and chill.